Okay, when you think of Sweet Home Chicago, do you think of amazing architecture, great food, or do you think of the blues? Our Doug Banks visits a new museum in Bridgeport dedicated to the preservation of this music. Chicago is known all over the world for its rich tradition of blues and jazz music. From famous Southside clubs like the Checkerboard Lounge to the vibrant entertainment scene around the city, Chicago has been influential in the development of this music. But as Chicago developed as a city, the struggle to preserve the historic clubs where the music began became an ongoing battle. But now, there's a place dedicated to the preservation of this music, the Chicago Blues Museum. The Chicago Blues Museum is the only music museum of its kind in Chicago. I couldn't believe that Chicago was building itself as the capital of the blues, you know, without, without a White House. How can you have that title without having a home to honor it? Parker, a musician by trade, who's worked with the likes of Stevie Wonder and Marvin Gaye, amazingly collected everything in this museum himself. And today, over 3,000 pieces of memorabilia can be found here, like this guitar that once belonged to the number one recording artist, Jimmy Reed, and the doors from the original House of Blues, the home of Muddy Waters, and one-of-a-kind pieces like this. We took the doors of Muddy Waters' house on Lake Park, mm. which was the basement doors, and made a guitar of it. And it's been appraised at like $2 million. Oh. <laughs> Exhibits at this nonprofit institution chronicle the history of African American music, culture, and urban life. In the early 1900s, acoustic blues musicians from the South migrated north to Chicago, creating a new sound that would become one of this city's greatest treasures. The blues didn't get electric until it got to Chicago. For obvious reasons, not enough outlets in the South. <laughs> it really is the only music that we can claim as a whole, as Americans. Everybody's got the blues. The blues is not black or white, the blues is blue. Now I'll tell you something, this is amazing. From a radio background, this is real history here. These, these are radio stations in Chicago, especially the big one, or as it was known in the day, the Black Giant. It was, of course, WBON. And this guy you might know, this is Herb Kent, a cool gent. He is kind of cool there, isn't he? The blues is probably the most recognizable music, you know, art form in the world. If you try to hum any other song, you'd go, then and then somebody would know. But with the blues, you can go, da-da-da-da. Everybody knows you're singing the blues. For history, for the exhibits, for the memorabilia, you cannot beat the Chicago Blues Museum. Hit it, Greg. For 190 North, I'm Doug Banks.